Good morning dear friends and God's blessing is upon you. This is a brand new day and God wants to speak to you before you begin your day's activities. And uh, I believe that uh, there is something very important we can learn from the book of Acts chapter 2 verses 42 to 47. Now these verses reveals it's a it's a picture of a, of an ideal church what the church of jesus christ must look like so i will only mention and if you are a servant of god if you are a pastor if you have congregation please elaborate on these and to teach the people what is a church that god wants to see now there are certain characteristics of this church and it goes like this it was a learning church and in order to refresh your mind let me read and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers and fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles and all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need and they continued continuing daily with one accord in the temple and break breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart praising god and having favor with all the people and the lord added to the church daily such as should be saved now there are mainly nine characteristics of uh, this ideal church that God wants to see. Number one, it was a learning church. And number two, it was a church of fellowship. Number three, it was a praying church. Number four, it was a reverend church. And number five, it was a church where things happened. It was a sharing church. And it was a happy church. It was a church of people whom others couldn't help but liking. And so, and one more I will add. It was also a very united church, united in love. And that's what you will see in this passage that I've read. And I encourage you to, um, to read it very carefully for yourself and develop your own message, your own thoughts, how we can have a church like this if we are so full of the holy spirit and led and taught by the holy spirit and any church or congregation which gives importance to the work and operation of the holy spirit and what holy spirit one of the most important things he does is he unites people he never divides people he unites people together in love and it is important and love leads to so many of these characteristics you know love uh, loving people would like to come together and pray together and uh, learn together and praise God together and they are always together that togetherness give the power and the strength for the church and uh, anyone would like to be a part of such a loving caring uh, church and that is 
what is we need to work for we as god's people you know there is no reason for us to become rebellious and for us to become uh, fighters and quarrelings and and dividing and uh, uh, politicking and through politics you know you divide you make groups and and then gossip begins and all these things are there today in the church and the result is the church is not making such an impact upon people around us it is very sad and i urge all of you to my listeners that you do your part to bring these qualities and characteristics in your congregation and if you have five people with you that is enough you can come together pray together and worship together and learn together and bring people together make an effort begin now and may the holy spirit help you for the holy spirit of god we thank you that you are available to us all the time you have you are ready to uh, unite us and i pray therefore that you manifest your your presence your power by bringing a desire in the hearts of men and women in our churches lord to 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 see that the church grows in this way with these characteristics that we may make a great impact upon our community society upon our nation itself for this is your desire thank you lord amen god bless you as you live today and glorify god do your best to bring unity and love